Thank you, Mr. Joker. <laughs> you know, some men want to watch the world burn, but you look like you'd rather watch the world vape. <laughs> Before we go on, allow me to address the elephant in the room. It's true, Bruce Wayne is Batman. <laughs> I'm not Batman. Oh, okay, you, you know, yeah. You, oh, come on, don't, come off it, Bruce, come on. Who else in Gotham City has extensive martial arts training, never been rescued by Batman, and has enough money for a jet shape like their own bloody head? <laughs> Might as well call yourself Bruce Man. <laughs> Young Master Robin, always a pleasure. When Master Bruce adopted you, I looked the other way. It's in the butler's code not to ask questions about any child brides your employer may take. <laughs> it's true, it's true. You began life as an orphan circus freak and somehow it all went downhill from there. <laughs> I'm assuming you're supposed to be that version of Robin, that is. I, I can't keep track of uh, all of you. Uh, you uh, are you Dick, Jason, Tim, Damien, Carrie? Holy child labour, does Master Bruce love molesting orphans? <laughs> I, I, I mean collecting orphans. Yeah, that shit, butler's code and whatnot. <laughs> Speaking of perverts, Catwoman is here. <laughs> yeah, right. Ma'am, you smell like a tuna fish sandwich. <laughs> For the last time, stop crawling around Wayne Manor dumpsters. What you and Batman do on the roofs of Gotham is your own sordid business. But if you're looking for any used condoms, try Jared Leto's trailer. <laughs> Perhaps you'd feel more at home sneaking around the orgy mansion from Eyes Wide Shut. It's three mansions down. Just follow the sound of wet nut sex slapping against leather. <laughs> oh, Mr. Nolan. Always nice to meet a fellow Brit. Master Bruce isn't exactly an Anglophile. The other day, I told him I'd take the lift down to the Batcave and he gets his little Batman voice on and says, Alfred, stop calling it a lift. It's the Batsy Upsy Downsy Box. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Bane. And please give my thanks to Satan for lending you his pacifier. <laughs> what accent do you think you're doing exactly? Is it, is it British? Is it Puerto Rican? I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Talk like a bloody person. <laughs> I don't know how many times you bumped your noggin trying to climb out of that pit, but you sound like Voldemort snogging Scooby-Doo in the ear. <laughs> Mr. Freeze. Yeah. Got... Yeah, right, yeah. A man named Freeze who makes things cold. <laughs> you are easily Batman's least creative adversary. And he once fought a villain called Man Bat. A man who was also a bat. Why do all you people need a gimmick? Is it the point to get away with crimes? When I steal from Master Bruce, it's not like I leave my monocle behind like some retarded <laughs> Banksy project. Gee, Commissioner Gordon, I wonder who froze the Gotham Bank in ice. Could it be Mr. Heatwave? <laughs> Wanker! And now, it's Master Bruce's turn. I have tried my very best to be a good servant to you, sir. I've answered your phone, I've cooked your food, and I have polished your bed pole. <laughs> but enough is enough. You claim you want to save Gotham. Poppycock! Thomas Wayne wanted to save Gotham. You curb stomp purse snatching immigrants just to feel alive again. <laughs> and you know what kills me? I've agreed to help you with this Batman foolishness. You could at least hire a separate butler to do all the butler shit. <laughs> I'm a little worn out from building the Batmobile. After all, when you get stabbed, what happens? Do you go to the hospital? No. Instead, I have to stitch your prolapsed anus back into your body after you get hit with a mallet by a fucking clown. <laughs> For 
for fuck's sakes, did you know we have stables at Wayne Manor? Did you know that? Fully operational stables with horses. You forgot, didn't you? Well, guess what? So did I. I didn't feed them for six months because I was so busy helping you flap about town, and now they're dead. The stable of horses are dead. Master Bruce, now I have to bury them, or Robin will have his way with the back half of a Clydesdale. <laughs> He's exploring himself. It's not like I'm well paid. I haven't had a raise since your parents died. <laughs> I saved Gotham City from total annihilation at least three times last year, and I only made 15 grand. <laughs> you have a helicopter you use once a year at most, and I drive to work in a fucking Corolla. And no, it's not a bat Corolla because you put your bloody logo on it. The radio doesn't even work. <laughs> Remember when you left Gotham? Before all this, before Batman. You were gone seven years. Seven years, I waited, hoping that you wouldn't come back. <laughs> Every year, I took a holiday. I went to Florence. There's this cafe on the banks of the Arno. Every fine evening, I'd sit there and order a Fernie Bronco. I had this fantasy that I would look across the tables and I'd see someone reading a paper with the headline, Bruce Wayne dead. <laughs> and I'd get to live at Wayne Manor, a wealthy single man. And nobody would ever kidnap me to bait out a trust fund kid in a bat suit. <laughs> that dream didn't come true. But there's always hope that you'll die in the next movie. No. <laughs> Sit down now.